This is Cameron Chai from Azon, bringing you another episode of Azon.com TV. Today I'm speaking to Simon Milner from Panalytical, and he's going to tell us about their Egon 2 Fusion Bead XRF sample preparation system. Correct. Um, good morning, Cameron. Um, I'd like to just to show you uh, some of the key points of uh, this uh, fairly novel instrument um, that we launched uh, last year at PitCon. Um, as Cameron mentioned, it is a, it is a, a a fusion beat preparation machine um, and if I can perhaps run through some of the key features for you um, I can show you here we have um, the instrument is basically is based on the muffle furnace technology and it is this so the concept is that you put in a cold crucible that you could hold in your hands with the fusion mixture inside ready to go you place it into the uh, crucible holder Beneath the crucible, you will see the mold in which the uh, fused beads are cast. I can show you here what a fused bead looks like when it's finished. This is the, this is the aim of, 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 of a fusion machine, is to make a nice clear glass bead like so. Okay, so we place the mold into the uh, holder, we close the door, and now we're ready to start. Now, the, uh, the, the unit is completely operated from the front panel, and one can select a number of, of methods, whether it's a cement or an iron or, or uh, a, another kind of uh, oxide material. Once you've selected the method, then you can just simply press start. And you can see here the door for the furnace is retracting. It's going to rotate round to the left. And before it goes into the furnace, it's going to stop here above a sensed position to ensure that the casting dish is in place. So that's a safety feature for the instrument. Okay, so it's now uh, retracted. It's gone into the... Uh, furnace and it's going through a variety of cycles. Now it's going through a melting cycle here. We've speeded it up for a dem demonstration purposes and it will then go into a mixing cycle where it is gently mixing the sample inside the instrument. This inject phase allows you to inject uh, releasing agents automatically into the melt and then when the sample has finished being fused it will then pour into the casting dish inside the, uh, inside the furnace. Now, once it has finished that, you'll see now the doors uh, traversing out, and you will see, well, you would have seen had we got the material in the in the machine, uh, a fused glass disc being cooled. So this nozzle here is actually blowing cold air to quench the sample to make a glass. What's a typical cycle time if it was running real time for if it was a cement sample? If it was running uh, real time for a cement sample in the region of 8 to 10 minutes, fusion time. And you can obviously, given that it's got two furnaces there, you can run two samples in parallel? That's quite correct. So let me just wait until it's finished doing this. Um, what I could do here, you can run the samples either uh, asynchronously or together at the same time. So for example, if I just open the door here, I'll I could then run the system in tandem like this and that click sound you heard was the door with the doors being locked. This is perhaps one of the safest fusion machines on the market. Um, the whole concept of cold to cold um, uh, was, was, it was a design feature. We, did, we wanted to be able to uh, make sure that the operators were completely safe from a lot of the hot uh, surfaces which are traditionally found in in these kinds of fusion machines. Okay. Right, and Simon, if anybody wants uh, more information on the Egon 2, they can uh, go to your website, presumably. Yes, they can go to www.panalytical.com, and if they want to know more about the fusion technique, we have a little, a handy little booklet here with a lot of very useful information on how to fuse samples and what the purpose of fusing samples is. Okay, with examples from the Egan 2 and this can be uh, this can be organized uh, through our website All right, we can send you a copy. thanks very much for telling us about the Egon 2 and uh, we hope that it's a very successful product for you thank you very much